Hello and welcome to Guinea Pigs with Greg. Uh, I'm Greg and you're going to see my guinea pigs. Uh, so in this video we're going to be assessing uh, a couple of litters of Himalayans. So I've got a litter of four sows. Um, which we're going to run through and uh, look at their attributes to see which ones uh, have attributes that we want to include in the stud. So at the moment I'm particularly looking for very tall smuts. Um, I've noticed a couple of uh, pigs, the smut doesn't go up as well between the eyes, so I'm looking for a couple of sows with um, tall smuts. Um, but on top of that we like to keep then the basics of the guinea pig. So we like to keep the body colour clean, we like to keep the uh, the ears and the eyes all, all in the right proportion. Um, so if we can keep those right and extend the, the height of the smut, I'm going to be a happy man. Uh, we also have a litter of two boars, um, which look interesting. Uh, I'll critique those, and again, I'll be looking for some positive attributes to include in the stud. Um, we don't tolerate things such as uh, side skirting, hemmed ears, side whiskers, any of the disqualifications or even penalizations. We just don't tolerate them when selecting babies. This first sow is from Rose. Um, there are four sows in the litter. Uh, it's quite a reasonably well balanced sow. The ears aren't settled as much as I'd like and the smut isn't as wide at the base as I'd like. But the positive points are the body colour is very pure. The points are jet black and she does possess a decent body shape. I'm not sure if we'll retain this pig in the stud um, until we see what else is left in the litter. But she should make up into a decent pig for someone. The second sound in the litter is the smallest sow. Um, the ears are a bit fly away. It's very unusual to have this come up in the stud. Um, but again, the contrast is very good. I would like a bigger smut and a bigger head. Um, this has come out very narrow. Uh, definitely the, the runt of the litter. But as many positive points that other studs may find... Uh, that they, they could use use these attributes for, such as the body colour and the density and the contrast. Uh, the third side instantly caught my eye in the litter. Um, very well balanced pig, good dome shaped head, large head, uh, well developed smut and bold eyes, excellent feet and body colour. Uh, the smut comes up well between the eyes and it goes in the, the correct pear shape as you can see there. And it's just nice that the ears are already settled um, and they don't need much more work. Uh, she stands well already, which is something that you look for in a, a show pig, definitely. I mean, she, she handles very well. The body colour is a touch darker than usual, but that's still good. Final sound in the litter is, again, another big-headed pig um, with reasonably well balances. I'm sure they'll come down. I mean, the, the points are very black as they're coming through. You can see they're still quite young, um, but they are jet black. Uh, again, stands very well, and that density of smut, the shape of smut, is fantastic. You can just see the body colours very, very white as well. Let me just look there. See, that's quite even and level, um, so we'll take that as, as, as a pig definitely to retain, possibly for showing, possibly for breeding, um, but either way, she'll go through the show training regime just the same. And there we go. I think that's quite nice. Here we have the first boar from a litter of two boars from our uh, ex best in show sow Sally. This boar is very level, huge smut. Um, it's still coming through, but it's got exactly the shape that I look for at this age. Um, excellent shoulder, and again, stands well. The temperament on these pigs are very good. Um, just like the father and mother, they were both very well temperamented pigs. I'm sure this does breed in. The eye's bold, um, and it stands up on its legs just how I like it. So we'll keep this one for a bit longer. The second boar is uh, a touch lighter, it's not as well developed as the first boar. Again, good ears and bold eye, and the outline of the smut looks very good, but it looks like it's going to be a slightly lighter pig, because the density isn't quite as deep, um, which we'll hopefully see in a side-by-side -side at the moment. I do like this pig, because uh, again, he stands well. And I think since they're living together, it's probably best to grow both of these on, and we can just uh, monitor their development uh, as they get older. Um, but yeah, I, I think this could be a useful pig. Here we have the two boars side by side. On the, the left is the first boar, on the right is the second boar. Um, you can see that the left boar is much more uh, dense and more well developed in, in, in the, the depth of the smut. Um, so that's going to be a slightly darker pig, um, whereas the pig on the right is going to be much lighter. And here we have the full family group together, uh, the, the dad and the two sons. 
you can see roughly how they're they're going to develop. Again, they all stand very similarly with that same shoulder, the same ear setting. So um, all looking good. Let's pause the video here for a second. Um, you can just take a moment to guess which uh, pigs from these two litters that I retained. Uh, there's some good quality in there. So take your time, have a look through and then uh, unpause and I will tell you shortly which ones I retained. So if you guessed uh, both of the boars, then you'd be correct. I retained both of those boars. They are something else. They stand well already and they've got great presence. So um, those two will definitely be staying uh, until they reach six or seven months old when I reevaluate them again. Um, and also sound number three and sound number four. Uh, both of those will be staying with me. Um, Again, they've got that tall smut and decent ears um, and good contrast as well as a bold eye. So they carry the, the attributes that I want to pass on throughout the rest of the stud in future generations. So fingers crossed, they'll do well for us. Um, shame there isn't any shows around at the moment because you know I would love to, um, to show them, but we just can't do that at the moment. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, I enjoyed making it. Uh, I always enjoy looking at, at my pigs, seeing how they develop, seeing how they change, because they do change quite rapidly at Himalayan, um, as, as do the goldens really. And yeah, so fingers crossed, um, they'll do well for us. And as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you again. True bye.